DJ show. Songa shiri down to up to right things we Nyadza to this in a retief and I cheat we Can I'm chill out deep is a deep and I pit we Make you spill a bean if you know what I mean Andy It's time! Ladies and gentlemen, we are back! Yes, sir! The Denny J Show, Denny J back to back with my girl, Ranji. The boss, up, Ranji. What's boss, up? Ranji. Oh, shit, my bad. The boss. Thank you. Put some respect on it. Ranji. Nice. Nice. My man. What's up? What's up, Ranji? Not too much. How was your week? Not bad, man. Not bad. Um, we premiered our first episode the other day. We did. Uh, yo, it's tough on these social streets. Uh, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Tell me about it, Ranji. I know there's a lot of comments, you know, most of them directed towards me. Mm-hmm. What's um, that? What's that? Yeah, no, nah, it's man. tough. These haters. You know what? I wouldn't necessarily call them haters. I think that whether you're tall, short, quiet, mute, big, small, retarded, normal, people still have comments. You know what I'm saying? So no. we welcome the comments. I mean, it is what it is. People feel how they feel. Yeah. We so accept ma- it. So many, so many comments. Um, Yet nothing about you. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm sure it's coming. <laughs> But, uh, of course, it's, you know, the usual, like, these guys are copying drink champs. They're right. They're copying uh, podcasts. With, right. Uh, and chill. They're right. copying. You know, it's, it's very difficult to uh, describe what copying is because a podcast pretty much does the same thing. A podcast is a podcast, a podcast, a podcast. Two people talking, three people talking, Absolutely. four people talking. You know, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I also, it also just highlights uh, some of the hate that's just out there. People just hate because... Uh, I mean, there's some angry people out here. People yeah. are angry. People, there's some people that are broke, some people that are single, some people that are going to... People are unhappy. Yes. But, right? But we do accept the positive, Absolutely, 100%. The positive stuff. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. You know? but, um, but yeah, thanks. Keep commenting. Uh, keep liking uh, the channel. Uh, and subscribe, share, let people know what we're doing here. We're doing it for the culture. We're doing it. Yeah. This is the culture. Exactly. Right? Uh, so yeah, so we're just rounding up. Uh, we're going to talk about what happened this past week. Uh, All right, a lot of stuff went down. Okay. Uh, Friday, Winky D released a video, a song. All right, a new song. Yeah, we thought it, we thought it was an album that was coming up, but uh, it's a song, uh, and the song has divided people and s- on social media. You know, people are divided. Divided, <laughs> okay. Divided, okay. <laughs> Just explain. Divided meaning. Well, you know, if you're a Winky D fan, there's like two types. I'm a Winky D fan. All right. But then they are like cult fans. These are fans who see Winky D doing all wrong. Those fans. Those fans are dangerous, and there's so many of them. Okay, but why are they dangerous? They like Winky D. Why are they dangerous? No, no, no. They're dangerous because if you go there on social media and you say, "I heard the song. I don't like it. I don't think it's a dope song." Then they're all over you. Okay, so you're saying that they have no real perspective. They just roll with him regardless. Good, yes. bad, whatever. All yes, right, got you. Yes, all right, yes, all right. Yes. So um, did, you, did you watch the video? Okay, I did. I did watch the video. Well, the video, what do you, th- what do you think? Okay. What do you think about the song and the video? Because I don't, I don't think you can, you can uh, differentiate the two, the video and the song. What do you, what do you, what's your take on that? All right, okay. The video was good. You know what I'm saying? Good mm-hmm. production. You can see that they put a lot of money into it. I mean, the video was good for what it is, right? I, I actually don't necessarily have a problem with the video at all. What I do have a problem with is the song itself, right? Yeah. Why? Me, personally, I, I just don't necessarily appreciate the words, right? It's not money if it's... If it, it's, it's fiction, right? you understand? If I want to listen to a song, I want to listen to some real stuff. I want to listen to real words, Right? Basically, the song, from what I take from it, is he's saying that, you know what, if, you know, you don't need money to get to what you need or who you need or how you need it or whatever, it's love that prevails, all that. We've lived in the real world. We live in the real world every single day. Money's not important, but it affects everything that is, right? So when I see that, it's like, it's fiction. Right. It's, I, I don't, when you like a song, you have, a gra- you have to gravitate towards the words, correct? Yeah. So if I can't gravitate towards the lyrics, then... But um, are you not being harsh on the guy? Because uh, you've had songs where they, they say, I'll, I'll, get the, I'll get you the moon, I'll get you the stars. And we don't believe this it. This is just imagery. <laughs> and we don't listen to those songs. Uh, we don't listen to them. Those are not my songs. Right, you understand? Right, right. So, but in all fairness, I think um, 
everybody has agreed that it was a wonderful video. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understand? Absolutely. Um, Nobody is disputing the fact that money was put in that video. Uh, a lot of effort was put in that video. And I think it's, um, it's what we've come to expect from Winky D. He's very serious about his craft. Even the stage performances. Right. Wh- whenever he does something, he does it properly. 100%. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I personally don't like that song. Yeah, listen, Winky is a great artist, right? He's good at what he does. I enjoy him. Like, he's got a bunch of great songs out there. This in particular, no bashing Winky D is nothing like that, right? I just don't think this was his best work. Although the video was fire. I mean, I think we talked about this earlier. Like, was it shot here? Was it shot? Where was it? It's, it's, it's that good. Yeah, the video is crazy. Right. So on a scale of uh, 1 is to 10, what, what are you going to give him for that video? I think maybe, to be fair on you, We'll, we'll break it up. Uh, uh, one to ten for the video. One to ten for the audio. What's your take? What's your score? How All you right, one to ten for the video. I'm giving the video a nine because nothing's perfect. So mm-hmm. because he's a Zimbabwean artist, right, I've seen some substandard stuff. And I mean, it, 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 boy, even, it doesn't matter where it is, Nigeria, America. I've seen some substandard videos, right? I give him a nine. It was a great effort. I'm not going to give him a 10 because 10 is the best and typically people don't get to 10. I agree. I agree. The reason why I also give him a 9 is because um, everybody else on the video was polished. Right. But I could tell that Winky D was acting. There's moments like when he's running towards the, the water to get in the boat and then he looks back and whatever. But I, if, want you, I want you to get time to go and have a look at that. Because all the other people who are in that video, I think, are seasoned actors. I think they're of like, course they are. Yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. They're like theatrical people. Yeah, yeah. They're hired people, right? So they do that as their day job, right? Yeah. But then you've got Winky D, who's an artist. Mm-hmm. His job is to produce the vocals. Yes. So if you do think that he was acting, I wouldn't be surprised. Why? Because it doesn't come naturally to him. Yeah. yeah. So okay, that's but, fine. But, but he did a good job. Absolutely, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. And then the audio. Uh, audio in terms of sound. Like I said again, the video is great. Right. The sound is great. Uh, it's just not a song that I necessarily gravitate to. So, uh, this is tricky. I don't, I don't want they the cult to come they, after they me. Are in the I don't comments. want the cult to come after me. Okay, you know what? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Nah, nah, you know, I'm not, I want to give him a fair, I want to give him a fair judgment. Okay, you know what? I'm going to give him, I'm going to give it a 4.75. Yo. They're coming. <laughs> but it's, it's so close to five. They're coming. It's for a, but you. Cole, please don't come after me. You know, it's a personal it's a personal thing. Don't come after me. But like I said, for me, the lyrics don't resonate for me. Okay. Talking about the lyrics, because you were studying the lyrics. What, what is he talking about? <sighs> it's just a love song, no matter what it's, you Okay, are. basically, I guess he wants the girl, but he doesn't have the sheets. So he's talking about that love prevails overall which is a lie i mean this is 2021 <laughs> you know what i'm saying love i mean we all love love but money is important mm. you understand the people that say the money aren't or is not important rather let me say that people that said the money isn't important are typically people that necessarily don't have the money because <laughs> if you have the money then yo. you know money yo <laughs> it's important Shit. It's important. But I mean, money, like I said before, money is not necessarily important, but it affects everything that is important. Sure. The, school, the, you know, the school that your kids go to, the food that you eat, where you travel, what you drive, mm-hmm. right? I mean, what you wear. Not true. Money's important, period. True. But I mean, it's also nice to live in fiction. I mean, it's cool. You know, sometimes you kind of want to step away from reality yeah. and kind of just, uh, you know, dream a little bit. That's cool, too. That's great, yeah. Uh, I will personally give the audio a six. Um, oh, brilliant! Well done. Yeah, six. Um, I'm generous today. I can't even six. <laughs> Generosity, but, right? But I'll tell you something, and, I, and I'll tell Winky D any day. Winky D is a good friend of ours, you know. All right. Um, so you know, I know what he's achieved, and I know what the people think of him. They love him like crazy. All right. Um, I, however, think that the two artists, in fact, they're the two biggest artists, Winky D and Jabraiser. Those guys must stay away. From English songs. You know what I'm saying? Why? English songs. I want you to listen to that English song that Winky did. This one that we're talking about. All right. I want you to compare it to a natty old English song. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you're doing an English song, it helps to be fluent in the language in terms of when you're, you're, you're singing. Wait, you hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Are you trying to say that he's not fluent in English? Uh, I'm trying to say to it's not how, um, how I think uh, an English song song should sound like 
should flow. Yes. So you're saying that there's there's some staggering, there's a bit of... You know, it's, it's someone singing English in a Shona accent. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you are going to do an English song, ideally you want to speak as English as possible, otherwise you can actually just do a Shona song and do it fluently. I don't know if I agree with that, man. I don't know if you I... Know I do, do, do you know the reason yeah, why? Let me, let me say something on that one. Mm-hmm. But you listen to a lot of Nigerian music, yeah. Uh, Danny yes. So I mean, the accent is not all right. A, let, me ex- proper, not as, let me explain you know, it to you. It's not fluent. Pigeon, pigeon, pigeon is trending. Pigeon. The, the way they, the way the Nigerians speak in their songs, it's actually very catchy. But do you know why pigeon is trending? Because they've made it trending. No, no. They have made it a trend. Come on now. The reason, the no, 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 no. Yeah. The Danny J. Song. The reason why it's trending is because you know what? They support one another. Whether it's broken, whether it's cracked, whether it's. Okay. I, it doesn't matter. All they right. they have made it. You you subscribe to it yes. because they've made you All subscribe right. to it. Look, you just don't know I, that. I don't want, I don't want to be politically politically incorrect or politically correct, mm-hmm. but I feel like there are some artists who, when they do English songs, they rock better. And Winky D is not one of those artists. But for me, yeah, it's I, because of the accent. You understand what because I'm saying? Because what, what's what's the issue? What the I, issue I, for I, you? I'm, I'm, look. I just pointed out accent as one of the things. No, no, that's, but that's what I'm saying. You know what if I mean? Junior Brown was to drop a track, right? Okay. Junior Brown has okay, and, and let's think about it, right? We're all Zimbabweans, mm-hmm. right? I don't know if Zimbabweans just have an accent in general, but we're all Zimbabweans, right? If Junior Brown drops a track right now, a person listening from America would kind of hear an accent, but not necessarily be able to say he's from Africa, right? So my point is that. We are all very happy with Junior Brown because of the mm-hmm. way he sounds. Yes, yes. But when Winky D does it, because he's got a bit of a deeper accent, but, it's a problem. But do you, I know, don't, do you know where the problem is? I don't is? agree with that. It's because all. all of Winky D's big songs are big in Shona. Exactly. That's you what I was about to All say. his big songs. I don't know of any big Winky D English song. I don't. If I could be wrong. But if it exists, just let me know. And then coming to Natty O. Natty O from the onset... Uh, we saw this youngster come up. We saw him, and I, I, from the onset, I knew this cat. If anyone in Zim Dancehall is going to make it um, across Africa, it has to be Natty O. Why? Because Natty O sings in English, and the English is proper. There's no, you know, in Zimbabwe, we cannot do pigeon because pigeon is a Nigerian thing. Nigerians are all over the world. I mean, their country is the most populous. They're all over the world, and they're influencing people successfully. But as for us, from our little country, uh-huh. We have to make a mark. And how we make a mark is not, is not this way. This is why Winky D is a big artist in Zimbabwe. But it's going to be very difficult for him to be big in Africa. But he wants to break... Okay, you know what? No, no, do you get what I'm saying? I, 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 it's very difficult. I hear... Because he's big. He's a big Shona artist. And I hear you 100%, right? Yeah. But there's people like um, Tugu. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Tugu had songs in English. Yes, but and in Shona. Okay, let me finish. All right. Two good songs in English and in Shona, mm-hmm. right? I think the idea as an artist is to make it big. Yes. Right? You're not going to make it big if you're just catering to the Zimbabwean community. Do you know? Right? I, 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 I understand that you feel like he may not be as good. And you know what? He may not be, right? But in order to break out and to become bigger than what he is now, he's got to explore the idea. So this song might have not been his best work. Right, okay. but when he does it two, three, four times, I think we'd be impressed. And you know what? Us as a country, I think we'd be very happy to hear Winky D being played in the UK. Yes. You know, yes. internationally. So uh, I, 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 I agree with you that this may not have been his best song, but I understand the concept and the idea behind it. Yeah, but uh, coming to Tuku, I want to explain something. Tuku does not have his biggest song being an English song because for some reason. Artists like Tuku are in the mold of Salif Keita. They're like African ambassadors. They get big uh, because there are people out there who want true African culture type music. You understand? All right. And, uh, and it's, it, for Tuku and artists like Salif Keita, it's the instrumentation, it's the, the language and, and stuff. They like that. And Tuku got big singing for uh, uh, Shona. His, his big songs are not English songs, but, but you see the trick with Tuku is Tuku is an Afro jazz artist. You understand? It's a different mold. It's mature music. You understand? So, so you're saying that the genre so, is different. Yes. It doesn't matter if you're singing whatever language, but the instrumentation... Yeah, Denny J, I don't know, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I hear you. I, I hear you. I just don't agree with you. I hear you, but I don't agree. I mean, mm-hmm. agree with you in regards to... I do agree that Tuku's biggest songs were in Shana, yes. Mm. But 
the ultimate goal for these artists yes. is to break away. Winky true. D has worked very hard. True, true, true. He's worked very, true. very hard. True. And I think this is, I saw that, com- who was the lady that commented on social media? Um, about the white people. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So, CT is making a. Con- I I can't. Do you have a? Do you have a screenshot of what she said? Um, or do you remember? It maybe. I might have it. I might have. It. Yeah. All right. Okay. Maybe specifics of what she said. Look for so it. we can um, kind of dissect that in, yeah. and go into that. Yeah, yeah. And, and for those who don't know, Titi Dangarembo is an, uh, an award-winning author. All right. I think she's she's like, like written like loads and loads of uh, books. Uh, successful books. Okay, got you. Yeah, and uh, I think her whole issue is. Um, um, we must we must look at ourselves as being the people instead of uh, uh, glorifying white people type thing. I think the but is it I think the common has something to do with that. You want to read it? Yeah, yeah, I yeah I'd like to read it. I just all right. So it says problematic in that it casts white women more as desirable. Sorry, I apologize. Let me start again. In that it casts white women as more desirable than black women which is one of the ways white supremacy has worked to make us look at ourselves. That's kind of harsh, though. All right, so I... Thank you for this. I... You see, if we are now judging ourselves based off of what's on Winky D's video, then we got some problems. You know what I'm saying? It's a video. It's a video. You know what I'm saying? I agree. When you're an artist, you depict things the way you see it in your head. I agree. Okay? I, I think... I don't think it's a problem at all. If he wants to put black, Chinese, uh, tall, sh- uh, for short, fat again, what's the issue? Yeah. I think I think her point was that um, the other song also had a white woman. But then that's Gemma. Gemma is not white. She's one of ours. No, Gemma's white, but she is one of ours, right? But these people are not looking at people. Do you know that you find that even people in Zimbabwe see white people... It's not Zimbabwean. It's the weirdest thing ever, right? right? It's the weirdest thing ever. Like, and the issue is us as black people. Mm-hmm. We tend to see Africans as black people, right? Even mixed race sometimes. You understand? Is not quote unquote African. We're all Africans, right? right? So even Gemma, like like you said, Gemma is Gemma's white. She's mm-hmm. a white Zimbabwean, mm-hmm. but she's white. Right? Well, who cares? Right, mm-hmm. the artist is depicting it the way he sees it in his head, and if we as black women are now trying to define ourselves by what Winky D does, I mean, come on now, yeah, come and on, that's 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 heavy. I know. And what's ironic is that Tsitsi uh, Dangarembo must be married to a white man, right? Is that correct? Is that- yeah, it must be. Huh? I'm not sure, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. yeah. So, so I mean, may- maybe it's just overload for her. She does. She can't handle it. I mean, I'll you Google know. it. <laughs> yeah. No, I, it, it, you know, I think. I appreciate her statement, right. right? And I understand where it might be coming from, but she most certainly delivered it in the wrong way. True. Because don't put us all under that. I see that video, and to be honest with you, I, honestly speaking, I saw that video, and the first thing that I went to was not the fact that there were a lot of white people in that video. Yeah, yeah. I didn't care at all. She's catching the wrath of the cult as we speak. Are people going after her? Yeah. I don't know if she'll make it. You know them folks. <laughs> you know them folks. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. And then... Um, Oh, yeah. Still on videos. Is yeah. she? What you got? <laughs> you got a you got a family what picture. You got a family picture. Yeah, yeah. Right. You got a picture of the folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a picture. <laughs> <laughs> the V eleven. <laughs> no nah, shame. Right. Okay. Nah, right. teach, but we love you, girl. We love right. you. Yeah. We love you. My bad. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, still on videos. Rocky also released uh, a video on the same day. Same day. Same day, and uh, I think. Uh, Winky D told us he was going to release on that particular day. And then, um, I don't know out of whose wisdom, uh, Rocky decided to release on the same day. That's spicy. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's like, a little sp- I mean, we ain't got a million artists in Zimbabwe. You know what I'm saying? So, if two artists are releasing on the same day, that's not, it sounds like beef to me, but then again, I wouldn't know. No. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just two artists. It's the gaffer. You understand? This is the cult. I, yes, I don't think you understand how these people feel about Winky D. It's it's not he's not a regular artist. Got you. Yeah, and if you look at the numbers, because the numbers are out, the uh, numbers of views and what have you for both videos. Yes, got you. In twenty four hours, um, I think Rocky had uh, almost one forty thousand views. Okay, and then the Gaffer, four hundred k. 
God, well, yeah, four hundred k. I yeah. mean, listen, you know what? The guy has worked levels. Yes, and do my levels four hundred. Yes, goodness but, me. But you know what? Sometimes it gets discouraging because uh, Rocky is a fantastic artist, and Rocky is on fire right now. But uh, people can actually avoid things like this because then you know probably Rocky would look at himself like, oh, yo, this dude is. But it's not like that. You so are you saying that the num- are you saying that the numbers have been affected <laughs> by the fact that Rocky was going against Gaffa? Yes. All right. Well, when the Gaffa is releasing something, everybody stops. You understand? That's how big this artist is. So b- it, it basically, it was basically. You're not saying the song was Rocky song was bad, but it was badly played. Yes. No. Rocky song is fantastic. In fact. Remember, we, talk, we spoke about this, about uh, the two videos, and I said um, I didn't like the song. The Rocky song, I actually like it. You understand what I'm saying? But it's, it's not about that. You know, uh, Winky D is... Well, publicity is everything. Come on. Publicity is everything, right? We, Gaffa, like you said, Gaffa has, is part of a... Listen, he got a cult that supports him. Mm-hmm. He does the things that need to be done. He got the people that support him to get him to where he and needs he, to get he's to. he's put in the work. You know, right. Because he's been here for that long. I know he's worked. Of course he has. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So maybe badly played. I don't know who's advising Rocky. But yeah, may- maybe you should have waited a day. <laughs> or, exactly. or, or released it the that's, day before. That's what I would have thought. Right. And then, um, Java keeps appearing in all the videos. You in see? all of Rocky's videos, yes, I, I don't know what that's about. Maybe he's doing that. Uh, he's doing the Didi thing. He's definitely doing the Didi. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> no, but I mean, the but Didi. but if you're going to do the Didi thing, it means that you got some kind of financial investment, correct? Yes, yes. Because I mean, if we showed up, Rocky's not going to put us in his videos at all. So, um, might it be correct to assume that Rocky has been captured? Oh yeah, hundred percent. It's obvious because because you know Java is putting so much money into Rocky. What about all the shout outs? Did you hear all the shout there's like 14 yeah. shout outs. How yeah. many people are you going to shout out? In the, I mean in, what, in in the new song? It's crazy. And you listen, I like the way you guys incorporated. It was wonderful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's in the background. It's like this, but I'm there's like 14 shout outs. I mean, he's shouting everybody out like who, how far? Who was shouted in that song? I didn't I didn't listen. I, you to know, like I that. I to you be Okay, me? so there Guti was a shout out. Uh, Passion Java, Lily Java, uh, Scott. He says, Scott, we're gold. Uh, all the other people I can't really remember, but I remember those people. Okay. <laughs> and they were, wait, I mean, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But I listen, you know me, I'm, I'm particular, right? The song is three minutes and six seconds. Right. Until two minutes and 14 seconds, Yo. we still getting shout outs. <laughs> How many shout outs can you do? Are you, I mean, are you sure? Are you sure? Yo, I'm possible. You, you went to, I went through it, uh, and I ain't crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Two minutes and 14 seconds, we are still shouting people out. That's a lot of, that's a lot of shout outs. <laughs> Yo, I mean, but you know what? I mean, you know, it's a church song. You know, so I didn't, them church folks is in there. I, you know, the ch- them church folks. You yeah. shout it out. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what arrangement these guys have, uh, Rocky and, and Passion. But I hope it's not getting in the way of uh, Rocky's creativity because I've noticed um, that he's all over the place. One minute he does a house song, the next minute he does a, a rumba song, uh, and probably next we might hear a rock song. I don't know. He's all over the place. Rocky is undoubtedly the most talented artist he's in good. that genre. He's good. He's good. Yeah, yeah. And if we were to. What I don't even know what genre it is. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yeah. So, but I don't know. Guy. All right, yeah. Mm. So, you got okay, fly. wait, wait. No. <laughs> you got to fly. <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Mm-hmm. All right, so this song is a Roomba song? Yes. Well, okay, it's a, it's a, Christ, it's a God song. It's a song for God. Because there's Bibles. It's a Roomba gospel song. It's a Roomba gospel song. All right, like that, I like the way you put that. It's a Roomba gospel song, right? What are they talking about in the song? I just my I don't know, but I'm getting I'm getting a lot of coffee olumide vibes. Yes, up in there. Is it true? I actually I'm feeling was, a lot of coffee. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, was, listen, it's, it's good, but if he's gonna do Roomba songs, right, mm-hmm. and you're gonna run with that vibe, how about you bring coffee? Y'all got a good relationship. Exactly. Y'all done done it before. You know okay. what I'm saying? Bring him in again. You know what I was saying? Like, if you're gonna do um, a Roomba song. It, it makes sense if you have a guy from DRC or whatever. Ranji in Bordel. No, I know. You know, they, don't, they, don't they, my sh- they, shut ups. They did. Those are the shut ups that were there. They yeah. actually did the voice. That was the coffee voice. 
No, no. Understand? I actually thought that was coffee, for real. I thought. That I mean, was maybe coffee. it is. What, what do we know? Yeah. What do we know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, what do, maybe it's coffee. We don't. We doesn't know. <laughs> so, so, so what? I, what I'm saying is, like, if you look at, a, at an artist like Diamond Platinum. Amazing artist, right? All right. Mm-hmm. So if Diamond Diamond Platinum can do any song, he can do an R&B song with Neo. He can do a, 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 a um, what did he? What else did he do? He can do a reggae song with uh, Morgan Heritage. He can do all sorts of things. But he understands that if you're going to do uh, a Roomba song, it works well if you have a Roomba guy because otherwise it's like Zimbabweans are doing Roomba. You understand? It, it, it doesn't come out. It, you okay, you're, you're just saying it's, it's, it's not as authentic yes. as it could be, Yeah, right? You understand? I mean, listen, the song was good. It's a good song. We, we, we just could have done a little better. You know what I'm saying? We're yeah. we not out here criticizing you. We're giving you, con- it's called constructive criticism. Yeah, straight, straight. Right? Rocky's my boy, and Rocky, we're expecting him. He should be coming on the show. Great. Soon, he must. So wait, wait, hold and on. Do, do you know why he must? Because I think his very first television interview I did, he did with me. His very, whoa. very, very first one. Whoa, in whoa, whoa. 2003. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, so, you know, he's got to come through. He's, right. he's my so, guy. So, quick question. Yeah. The song Mafuta, to be very honest with you, I failed to follow it. I really don't know what they're talking about. I've just, I've just failed it, right? I, I think this, the sound is good. Sounds great. I like the song. I like that it's catchy, blah, blah, blah. I failed to follow it. Is it a gospel song? You you just told me it was. My oh, that's, that's what that there's Bibles in the beginning oh, of the yeah. song. There's Bibles in the And I mean Passion Java, he's a he's a man of God, ain't he? Oh uh, yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So so they say. No, no, so real. they say. You know you know why I say I guess? Uh-huh. It's because um let me see how to spit it out. You see, Passion Java uh-huh. is a man of God. I would not expect him to have any beef with anyone because men of God don't do beef. Is he beefing? No, there's a beef with say colors. There's like a big beef that's been. What's going the beef on for about? Because I don't, I don't, I don't know about it. What's I the beef? I have about? no idea. Uh, but you know, there's a beef. Producer, what, what's what's that beef about? There's a beef between. Uh, um, I, I don't. I, I think it's a beef for likes. Or I, I'm, I, I don't think I, there's no substance. Okay, can I ask a question? Maybe let's start here. Mm. Passion but, Java. Yeah. He came out. It's it's Prophet Passion Java, correct? Right? Mm-hmm. Prophet Passion Java. Like profit or profit? Are you talking about profit? <laughs> Yo. Sounds like shade Yo. to me. I am asking. Sounds like shade to me. All right. Really profit. <laughs> profit Passion Java. All right. Does he have a church base, a home? Yes, that, that is a very good question. Has anybody seen the church? I, I just remember born. D- Ichibei now, whatever that was, but I mean, does he have like a like a, a home for the church? I don't know about here in Zimbabwe, but I know in the US he has. So when he's away, who will be managing that? Yeah, uh, he, he would make a, him he would make a very good gift. <laughs> um, I think we don't want to speculate. Um, no, no, th- which is why I'm asking. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, of course. We don't have this information, but I'm sure. Um, I'm sure uh, if we reach out to him, Absolutely. he might be able to come 100%. through. Hundred percent. He'll be a great guest. Though. Come through, come through. We yeah, need you. you know, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, so finally, on that song, uh, what's your rating? Let's are we are one. we splitting it up? Are we splitting yes. it up to make it easy? Same thing. Same thing. Let's see what video. Seven. Okay. But th- that video was pretty good too. I mean, I mean, there were no white people, white theatrical people and shit. <laughs> but it was a good video. Um. Yeah. You know what? It's a seven. It's a seven for me. Okay. There was too much going on. I really don't understand. I couldn't follow. I mean, it's cool. You know, what I'm like I'm giving it a seven. Solid. Okay. I'll give it an eight point seven five. All right. Yeah, no problem with that. And the song. The song was good. I'll. I'll give the song an eight point seven five. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. You haven't rated the song. Oh, the song. Uh, I think an eight. I have no problem with that song. I think it's a party. It's a party bag. I can get the party started. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but you know what? Rocky's songs in general, they get the party started every time. The guy's good. Yeah, very good. The guy's talented. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah, talented. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so, um, what else What else uh, was on the menu? Makandiwa's house. Oh. Makandiwa's house. That went, that went, that did the rounds. That did the rounds, man. That's a fantastic house. No, it's fire. It's all the things. Yeah. All the things that can be done, they were done there. Yeah. Uh, Please. How do you what do you, how do you feel about um that um 
show of opulence for men of God? Okay, well, okay, if I have to be 100% honest, uh, let's start here. Everything is a business. Right. Right? Whether he's a man of God, whether you're a carpenter, whether you are a tyler, right? Everybody gets into everything for money, right? I understand that your passion may be God, and that's fine as well, right? Mm -hmm. But men of God also want money. So I don't have a problem with it at all, actually. I don't have a problem with it. Because I think independent from that, I think the church is a business in its own. It is a business, regardless of how you want to look at it, right? But independent from that, this guy has been able to branch off and to do other businesses that are independent of that. I think we always want to harp on the fact that, you know what, the money's coming from the church and it's, it's all this. A lot of times it's not. A lot of times it's not. I mean, listen, these, these guys who start these churches do make a lot of money in the church. They get love offerings. Mm-hmm. They get a lot of offerings from the church because the church wants to see the pastor thrive. Now, why are we so hell-bent on what they spend their money on? He got a nice house, and... But, um, you know what the problem is, uh, for me, is um, that's a big-ass house. So, I'm assuming... Um, and? I'm assuming he's got, like, maybe more bedrooms than you need, for example. And? As a man of God, um, I would expect that uh, you'd be a bit more humble. A man of God wouldn't win him. Yeah, but, but humility, I mean, like... Yeah, you see, it's too heavy. You want him to be a man of God. You want him to help with your problems, marital issues, you know, financial issues, all these issues. And you also want him to be, you know what? Humility is nice, but he's also a human being who's got human emotions and he goes through human things, right? So I understand humility. I get it. I get it. That's nice, in, but it's not practical, right. right? So just because he builds this house that's huge doesn't make him arrogant or whatever, extravagant. Flamboyant. He he just wants a big house. Is it not being flamboyant? Maybe? No, no. Because when you have the money, you can do whatever you want. Okay, all right, all right. My take was that, um, you know, because uh, usually, you know, these people who have congregants, the congregants are usually people who are struggling most of the time, who um, are giving their, their 10% of their little salary and then to the pastor or to the church, ostensibly, so that... You know, the circle keeps going. The pastor hundred percent, yeah, 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 For other people and uh-huh. so on, yeah, yeah. And then, um, because you know, the, the, I'm sure the uh, response was that this money is not from tithes or offerings. You understand? I think that I think a guy came out and he was explaining that. No, look, this guy's got businesses and so on. So I get that, but I just thought that maybe uh, to a lot of people it might not be a good look. Yeah, I, listen, I think a lot of people are going to judge you regardless, right? Yeah. Um, he's got a huge congregation. And like you said, you know, people that go to those kind of churches, okay, people that go to church, we're all uh, people that are seeking God, right? People that are seeking change, right? People that are seeking consistency. You go, you give your offerings. 10% goes to the church, right? Everybody that works, if you go to church, should give 10%. What happens to the 10% is the ten percent. No, no, no. Well, well, no. The 10% is recorded and it should go to keeping programs going in the church, you know, keeping the church going, you know, keeping the church looking good, whatever the situation is, right? Then there's love offerings. There's separate offerings that go to, you know, Mm -hmm. different things. The love offerings go straight to the pastor. I've been to churches to where, you know what, these people are gifting the pastor Mercedes Benz and like huge things, right? right? So then the pastor now, okay, profit, Mm -hmm. now builds a huge house. Now I want to worry about where the money came from. He's a working man. He works every day. All right. So all we can say is congratulations to the man of God. Beautiful Miami yes. type house. Yes. Yes. Um, moving on. My favorite R and B artist. Your favorite R and B artist. R and B Zimbabwean artist. Takura. Oh, what what happened there? What Why happened? Why would you call him R and B? Um, because you six trap. You know, it's, it's, it's not like trap. Like, I think it's R and B and hip hop. You know how they, they the genre is like R and B and hip hop. Because mm-hmm. because like Drake Drake can sing R and B and he can rap. Of course, he can. Like R and B. So he's like he's like how Drake is. You Got understand? You. He sings. He raps. He does all that. There was a post. Uh, let me read it out. I think it was on. Was it on Twitter or whatever? He posted something. Suicide has really been on my mind lately. It's not easy feeling like everyone you love hates you. Because you're the worst person in the world, misunderstood. So um, he was having suicidal thoughts, I think. 
I don't know whether it's over love or... or no, that's a tough one. Listen, you know... Okay. Yeah, I, I'm big on mental health. Why? Because I think a lot of us are walking around behaving normal, but we're going through so much. And I think for men, it is harder. Why? Because when a man comes out and says, you know what, I'm depressed or you know what, I'm upset about this, we tend to be very judgmental. So I think by the time he comes out and posts something like that on social media, for all of us to see, right. things have gotten really, really bad. And it saddens me. It saddens me that he's in that place. I hope he's getting help. I hope he's getting help. Because a lot of us are suffering in silence. Mental health is huge. Right. It's huge. And as Africans, we, and, and, and Denford, yep. you're a cool guy. I know. Right? <laughs> you're Daddy J, baby. I'm the coolest. Right? Um, if somebody comes to you and says, you know what, I'm depressed, how would you handle that? I'll give him some Glenn. You see, Glenn, that ain't going to work. I know. That ain't going to work. See, we don't have systems. We don't have, um, you know, like in America and stuff, uh, people go through stuff. I mean, stupid stuff. You can just feel a certain way and go get help. There's psych- psychiatrists, psychologists everywhere, right? In Zimbabwe, it's very difficult for these young guys because, you know, they start off with nothing and then they become popular or famous overnight. And some of them can't handle the success. You look at a lot of Zim dancehall guys, Doba Dawn, um, who else? There's quite a number of these youngsters who got the limelight and then it suddenly disappeared and then they go into depression. What was the man that we lost? Ja, ja. We lost somebody? Yeah, the man that passed away. Oh, goodness, lots I can't of, remember. Lots of men pass away every day. Soldier Love. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, listen, I think... He's gone through so many... He went through so many challenges. Of course he did. It was, it was a roller coaster of emotions, right? Yes. You start with nothing, you get everything, you, it's, it's, it's a roller coaster of emotions. Yes, yes. So, to hear Takura say that, again, like I said, it's, 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 it's saddening. Because he couldn't go to his brother, or his friend, or his cousin. Like you said, you know, if somebody comes to you and says, you know what, Denford, I'm depressed. Loza comes to you and says, you know what, Denford, I'm depressed. You know, they say, drink some Glenn. That's it. Right, but it's not about drinking Glenn. Yeah, you will. know, the emotions go much further than just drinking Glenn. Why? Because Glenn will make you feel now. Good, make you feel good now. Right. But tomorrow morning you wake up with a hangover and still feeling shitty no, no, about what you were feeling shitty about before. No hangover with Glenn. Boy. You just, you just wake up to face your problems. Anyway, you still face your problems. Yeah. So yeah, I, I hope he's getting help. Um, yeah, depression is real. Yes, Depression uh, is real. Pop 10. Pop 10 also, I, I, I think um, there was an issue as well. He came out on uh, social media and confessed to a lot of stuff. It's the same thing. And it's happening to these young artists. You understand what I'm saying? I think the fame comes. Pressure, pressure. And then you're under pressure and then you have to deliver because you deliver a hit song. You need the next hit song. It's like a drug. When the hit song is not coming, the adrenaline. you get into yeah, yeah, yeah. The depression. Mm-hmm. And it goes all, you know, it keeps going over and over again. Uh, so I think the National Arts Council needs to look at that. You know, find the ways. National Arts Council. Yeah. Find ways to help these artists because they're artists. You know, because the issue of you know, if you come to me and you say you're depressed, you're not depressed. You know, we don't get depressed in Africa. Do you get it? No, you see, that is a lie. My goodness no, me. No, no, no. I'm telling you the, the misconception. You understand? Okay, all right. If, if, if you're depressed, we don't treat depression as a disease or as a problem, as a real problem. If you're depressed, ah, you'll get over it. You understand? This is how we grew up in the ghetto. Do you believe in depression? Yeah, yeah. It's true. I've seen it. I see people being depressed all the time. Okay. Have you ever been depressed? I'm sure I have. Not, not to... To these levels, there's levels. About. There's levels. No, no, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I understand that, right? Takura's level is extreme. Why? Because he's literally hit rock bottom, right? Yeah. But, but can we agree that we've all been depressed? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. But you see, this level of depression where you start thinking of killing yourself, that's like next level. So you've I, never I, been depressed where you feel like killing yourself? I can get depressed that I owe someone money and I don't have the money or whatever. You understand? It's like a big thing to me, but it's really not that big. Then you get to a level where, where you think it's better for me to go and kill okay. myself. Okay, you've never gone to that level? No, no, no. The kill myself level, I've never gone to the kill myself level. Okay, so... Uh, do you know the issue I have? Okay, so with women, people are a little bit more lenient on us. Right, mm-hmm. because people say that we have a range of emotions. We go from sad to very happy, etc. Right. right? With men, I I certainly believe that men have gotten to a lot of men have gotten to those levels. Right, right. right? Yeah. Why? Because when it comes to women, we are coddled. 
where said, oh, it's okay, you know what, you can do it, there's no, it's okay, you can sleep it off. Men, you have too much pressure, mm-hmm. right? Depressed or not depressed, you still need to get up. Mm-hmm. Depressed or not depressed, you still need to bring money home. Depressed or not depressed, you still have to run things, right? right. The pressure on men is so much. I'm glad, we, I'm glad you realized that. No, no, I identify it. And I was talking to a friend of mine recently, and, you know, she was complaining about her husband. And I was saying, you know what, listen, no one taught him how to be a husband. Right. Right? People teach us as women how to be wives. Mm-hmm. You know, Rungana, don't do that. Your husband won't like it. Rungana, don't do that. You won't get married. Rungana, right. don't do that. You know what? Do that. But no one sits around and tells a man not to do that because his wife will be upset. And this is universal. This is universal, right? Uh So no one is teaching a man how to be a husband or a good partner. Right. Right? You want the... Yeah. All right. No one is teaching a man how to be a good partner or a husband. A man is learning it along the way. Right. Right? Through his friends, through his brothers, through TV, through whatever it is Uh that you choose. And a lot of times, because we all have free will, correct? So if you're a cheater, you're choosing to be a cheater. There's some men that believe in love. Do you understand? And they'll run with that. But men, you, you guys have it hard because you're so harshly judged. Right. Yet you were never really given proper direction on this is what you should do. This is how you should do it. This is the way you should go about it once this is done. Right. So, listen, I don't know what Takura's depression is coming from or whatever it is. But it is so hard for a man to go and just say to his friend, you know what? Man, I'm down. Right. You, you can't do it. But if my homie comes to me right now, my female friend, you know, and says to me, I'm depressed, I'll be like, girl, no, I got you. You know, like, the other day I was talking to Nash about something. And he was like, okay, all right. You know, trying to be sensitive, mm-hmm. right? But you can see that the person you're talking to, ah, ah, mm-hmm. you understand? So I think it's just the nature of men, whether it be in Africa, America, it's just men in general. So Takura, I, if, if, I think if Takura had somebody to talk to, he wouldn't have come to talk to people on social media. Yeah. I know. Yeah, sometimes you don't have somebody who you, someone who you can yeah. actually share the stuff with. Yeah. But yeah, makes sense, man. And you know, most of the pressure that we men have... Financial. With money. Financial. You know, men... Oh, goodness me. I don't know how you guys are surviving it in 2021 because you're... Jesus. How, oof. My wife. You know, goodness. Money is. What your mom is. <laughs> no, no, you know what? I, okay, I feel bad because I think things are so tough, right? And I was about to say just in Africa, but I think it's everywhere, right? When I was in the States, I saw businesses closing all over. Mm-hmm. Financial stress on men is what is making most men commit suicide, is what's, People are getting fired every single day. How do you then go home and tell your family that I've been fired or I don't have any money? You know what I'm saying? You know, and it, eh, best of luck, mate. My one, my one. Best no. of the best of luck. My one. Uh, congratulations to my TT 15K. 15K for Rora? For Lobola. Ha. Huh. And then, you know, she posted something. Let me see. I saw something. She posted something about uh-huh. that. Um, so. Was that 15K? Wait, wait, hold on. 15K cash well, or... It's Sambo, all that jazz, let, let, me, let, all me right. give, let me give you the breakdown. Tinashe Maposa paid US $15,000 cash, Ooh. clothes worth $1,500. Okay, Tinashe. And groceries worth uh, more than $1,000. <laughs> he also promised nice. to clear part of the Sambo charged US 18000 What does he do? Wait, where does he live? Wait, doesn't does he live in he lives in America, right? I'm sure. I no, because I so. I read somewhere on so you know you can't believe everything you read on social media, but I did read somewhere on social media that he was going to take the whole family and move them back to the states. Right, oh, right? right, and so I I'm not too sure on dates in regards to when he paid Rhoda, mm-hmm. but one thing I know about America is that you get about two three weeks, three weeks. I mean, you've taken all your holiday. Right, like literally, you've taken all of your leave days, and he's been here for a while. So, is he self? Like, what, do, Tanasha? What do you do? We ain't trying to pry in your we business, but I mean, here. yeah, tell we, he know. paid eight. This mm-hmm. is fifteen thousand U.S. dollars cash. Yeah, tell a us a lot of money, dude. Tell us in the comments if you know what this guy does, and uh, hit him up for us. Uh, we'd love to have him on the show. Wait, but so quick question with the, with the wife. Quick question, Deza. Fifteen k is. Uh, 
I thought that was like standard. <laughs> like, is that too much or? No? Okay, okay. Let, let me let me let, let me read you her response. She posted this. All right. This is my TT. Okay. Tote na ova na mapo sa neguro ora kwaka na kwaka dai. E makau ya kubudi riro makaita chivani chose makatu risirwa zenyu neguti makaro ora national treasure. Mm-hmm. But thank you for honoring me. But there is a way to perform my plans. Most of them, I'm only one year short. And in that case, I got the H Metro every corner that we're going to be passing. We got the H Metro through a wand. Yeah. So she thinks as well that it was quite a bit of money, you know. Okay. Well, first and foremost, congratulations, my TT. Mm-hmm. Listen, marriage is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Union between two people that love each other. I know we support it. So, so congratulations to you, and Tinashe. Um, yeah. I, I mean, how how much should Rora be? Uh, For someone on the two masters like you, I right? get it. I get I it. I need two my masters. Tell me. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I get. I get. I no, I'm. Like you know I what? Put it out there. No, no. no I, I just feel like you know. Yeah. What is a decent amount? Right, because if, if I feel like I'm a prize and I'm a gem, and it's everybody's coming from their own families, right? Mm-hmm. Where they are praised, where they are appreciated, where they are loved. Mm-hmm. And then a person wants to put a price on me. Right. You know, I've had this conversation with my parents a million times over. And my parents say, Listen, Rora, Lobola, whatever, is a token of appreciation. Right. It's not a sale. Right. Okay? So they're like to me, you know what? Anything that comes will accept. Which this is, is what they've is right, said. Which is right. But right. then I said, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the boss from Jeep, baby. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. Okay. <laughs> are, are you what's, kidding me? <laughs> what's your valuation? You know, you know this whole thing of crazy roras? It's so bad because a lot of people then get abused because the guy kind of feels like they bought you. What kind of a man is that? <laughs> what kind of, because you, you feel like you bought me because you're small money. Yes, but understand. You're small money. Understand, this money is not for you anyway. And why must you worry if he, the dude paid 2000 and the parents are okay with it? Or he, he paid 20000 Why? Where do you come in the picture? Because this token of appreciation is not for you. It's for your okay. parents. I like that you said that, right? If we walk into a shop, let's take Gucci and let's take Payless. Right? Okay. You get a pair of shoes from Payless at twenty nine nine nine, probably made by the same people in China right. that made the shoes in Gucci. Right. But when you wear your Gucci shoes, you want everybody to see them, correct? Okay. Mm-hmm. But when you wear your Payless shoes, it's like I'm just running to the grocery store. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to the gas station. Right. Nobody must see you. I mean, you'll wear them, but you're not going to post them. Okay. Right. We have been made as people that are alive as human beings in society today to believe that something that costs more is more important. It is what we have been made to believe. But not when it comes to Rora. But no, no, no. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about in general. Mm-hmm. Right? It, we, are, we can both get on a plane. Mm-hmm. You can get in first class, I get in economy. You will post when you're in first class. Why? Because everybody must see it. We're going to the same destinations, taking the same amount of time. I won't post. Right. You, you might not, but I would. <laughs> I would. <laughs> you understand? Because it's not cheap. Okay, so I'm posting when I'm in first class. Why? Because I want you to see it. The good thing about this whole thing is that you are not the one who's going to determine how much is paid for your order. But my people will. My people, those people, <laughs> they're an extension of me. Your, they your, will, what's your value? I mean, your, no, no, I don't have a value. But what I'm saying is that women... Be decent. No, no. Okay, I, I, I cannot even give an amount because like I said to you, I come from a family where they're like, you know what? Money's not important. Rungano. The union is important. Because you know what we don't. I stop when you You know, like my people are. You know, like my family. They're very decent people. They're very so normal human it, beings, right? So they say it's a token. So Rungano, if it was, we had. I had this conversation with my dad. He's like, it's a token, Rungano. If it's a hundred dollars that you get, so be it, because it is a token. It is representative of the union. Right. But amongst, I will tell you that the most. I'm a woman. The pressure amongst women, mm-hmm. right? This is what is. There's so much pressure. You go to Aurora and somebody's getting a thousand dollars. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna send it. I catch you. Hey, she's gonna be at her house every single day. I'm not. Hey, Wow, do you understand? It's it is so much pressure as a woman, right? And as women, we believe in love. Yes, we love love. We want to be loved. You know, we want to be appreciated and all of this and all of that, right? But do you know that a lot of people? I if I look at my friends right now. I have got a Rora squad of about 18 people. 18 <laughs> strong. 18 right? strong. Literally. Literally. That are saying, you know what, Ranji, 
conduit. You understand? <laughs> like literally 18 people. But with all of this stuff that's happening in social media, yeah, my friends, I don't big step, but but you know what? It's crazy. But out of those friends, they will be there to support you, but they're also there to kind of peep to hear does he have money? How much money does he have? Will he be able to support her? She's coming from a family that does this and does this. And like Lodza says, you know, two masses, all this. At the end of the day, a woman must be a woman. Submit to your man. The man is the head. The woman is the tail. Right. No matter how much money you have, no matter where you came from, no matter what you think, because when you come from home, when I'm coming from my father's home, I'm coming as Rungan, a daughter. I'm not going to my husband's house as Rungan, the wife. I, f- I feel sorry for that guy. Oh, shame. I've got such a nice boyfriend. He's lovely. I feel sorry for him. Love you, you boo. <laughs> got a name? <laughs> he does have a name, but I want to share it. Why? Because mm. <laughs> people are snipers out here. Yeah, but yeah. And you've got a daughter, and I know Lord has got a daughter. And you know what? These are things that I think you must look into because social pressure is so real. I know. Daughters. So there's yes. no there's no Daughters. space. Well, yes. There's no do. space for love anymore in this. Uh, no, there is love. But I'll tell you what messes up love, Lodza. Mm. Let me tell you what messes up love. Lodza, mm. Dedza, Lodza. Oh, goodness <laughs> me. Let me tell you what messes up love. You, expectations bring disappointment. Right. Right? If I date a guy called Jeffrey, I'm dating Jeffrey. I've got these high expectations of Jeffrey. Then Jeffrey cheats on me. He's disappointed me. Right. I'm not leaving Jeffrey because if I leave from Jeffrey and I go to Kyle, Kyle's going to do the same thing. So let me just stick it out with Jeffrey. But Jeffrey has hurt me so much that now, you know what? The love becomes a little less, a little less, a little less. This is when you get gold diggers. Right. There's a lot of genuine women that started off genuine that ended up gold diggers. And it's not even gold digging. Why? Because it's a transaction. If I got to sit at home and deal with your shit every single day, I got to cook for you, I got to clean for you, I got to wash your boxers, I got to iron your clothes, I got to make sure you act right when you go out there. Then you want to call me a gold digger? That's wrong. <laughs> you are paying me for my services. But, but, <laughs> okay. But should we okay. should we be paying each other? If, if no. Oh, uh, but let me tell you something. In every in every situation, whether it be a financial transaction, whether it be a, a French a relationship, yeah. there's a payer and there's a giver. Period. Don't ever make the mistake of thinking not. As a man, your woman is sitting at home. She's dealing with your bullshit. You're lying. You stank. <laughs> you're going out. You're getting drunk. You ain't got no money. <laughs> so, on that sad note, <laughs> it's tough out here. We're gonna end it on this. <laughs> yeah, come on, now. we're gonna end it oh, on this. That's depressing, bro. Yeah. No, no, it's not depressing. We should get a show. I thought there was a lady. A lady show. Yeah, a lady show. Woman's yeah. conference. <laughs> Boys Boys conference. <laughs> Boys the wow. TV news. Yeah, that's that's the next show, man. Yeah, we need to have a spin off. Yeah, but I, all, all the while I thought there was love. How, no, 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 we love, but you know what? You men put us in a situation to where you disappoint us. It's so disappointing. You know what? And when I think my man is a king, he's the king of all kings. Why? Of which you know what? Cheating is normal. Don't get twisted. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I don't think anybody can be monogamous. I'm right. just being real. Because if you put that in your head, like I said, expectation brings disappointment. Right. If you're going to have to do it and you need to do it with whoever you got to do it with. Can you just be slick? I don't want to find out. Because now you're going to hurt my feelings. Now I'm going to be broken forever. Right. I'm going to be broke. Broke. Broke in. Yep. Yep. I got you. I got you, Ranji. <laughs> I got you. That's how you got to say. All right, all right. Ranji, I, I, I got you. I got you. All right. So um, where we at now, Ranji? Is, uh, this, um, is this a wrap for today? What's, what's all right, the word? So we talked about Passport and Winky, Rocky, Makandiwa, Kamabiliat, My TT. Yeah. That's I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else. But you said that's the week in a, in a, in a rap, right? That's that's pretty much everything. Yeah, I, you know, for listen, this week. For this week, yeah. 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 Um, I mean, but we covered we we covered a lot. We covered a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, it's important that people know that you know we we discuss real matters on the show as well. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, guys, it is, it is the holidays. You gotta say something about Christmas. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. I have don't a forget, question. Forget. I have a question, folks. Yeah. Denford. Yeah. What's up? What is a good Christmas gift? To get my man. Anything expensive. <laughs> Makes sense. Nash, any input? Expensive stuff. <laughs> we like expensive stuff. All right, so it has to be expensive. Yeah, yeah. Are men okay? Let me ask you this. Are men okay with being 
gifted something expensive? Do you not feel like it then? The reason no, I'm asking no, this. No, we don't no do you know what the reason I'm asking this is? Because somebody said to me, then, hey, it seems like you're flexing your pressure. You're, you're, you're flexing, yeah, hey, because you feel like you want money or whatever the situation is. That's not the case at all. Because if I'm buying a gift, I'm buying for the good of my heart, right? So any expense or any amount that I spend is it's, it's also heavy. Guys. It's not like I'm, I'm not a millionaire. I'm spending hard earned money. True. So if, if I decide that I want to gift you socks. No, nah, that's cheap. I don't, I don't do that. That's that's weak. If I decide I want to gift you two pairs of lubes. Of what? Lubes. Louboutin. Okay. All right. Two thousand seven hundred fifty a piece. Top off five thousand. Let's just say five thousand, right? Right. And then for shoes. Two off. Two off a, a pair. Yeah, yeah. for, for shoes. shoes. Nash, Nash know all about that. Uh, is this example like real life or Nash? How much are lubes? Maybe a thousand. No men. Yeah, about a grand too. Uh, no, no. Nah. Okay, guys, we'll Google it. We're gonna we gonna Google it when we okay. get done. All right. But anyway, well, let's talk about price, right? If I then decide that I'm gonna come to you and I'm gonna say, Lodza. These are your shoes. Merry Christmas. Right? Mm-hmm. Alongside a thousand US dollars. A pressure show. <laughs> right? Because what is, there has to be a cusp mm-hmm. of what is okay and what's not okay. Right? If I love my man, I will do anything for my man. Right? Men are, as a woman, do you realize there's a shortage of good men? There is a serious shortage of good men. So as a good woman, right, left. or a woman that loves your person, you're going to go all out. Why? Because if you don't do it, somebody else going to do it. And then you leave room for a person to come through. I'm not saying that money is important, but money is because it affects everything that's important. <laughs> okay? So yeah. if I want to buy you two pairs of lubes, whatever the situation is, right? Is that too much? Am I do? Yeah. Do I appear desperate? Two two pairs is a bit dramatic. There's That's no need. My point. You understand? One pair is okay. If, once you do two pairs, I don't shit, know what you, just I, Air Force Ones, yo. I don't know what you're trying to do. Like I'll appreciate it. Air Force, Air Force really? Size thirteen. Hundred dollars. Size thirteen. You. Hundred dollars. It's practical. It's a practical gift. But then, so once you do too much, you seem desperate. No, we didn't say that. Okay. So well, like, set it up pace. Yeah, because because okay. because for, for, for starters, giving a boyfriend a present of money, uh, that's that doesn't sound right. But do you know Americans that's do it all the right. time? Doesn't sit right with me. Do you know Americans do it all the time? I mean, I can do with the money, but for some reason, if, it, if it I don't know what to get you, you a cool guy, yeah, right? I don't know what to get you. I don't okay. know what you want. Yeah, I don't know what you want. So if I decide that you know what, instead of buying you a gift, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars. Yeah, gift okay. card. No cash. Yes. No, but Amer- guys, Americans do this all the time. Like they will literally box it up, put a stack inside, of which a stack is small. They mm-hmm. will box it up and put the money inside it. So I'm saying, do yep. I then appear to be desperate? Because it's out of love. No, no, you, you appear to be um, <laughs> um, showing off, maybe. Because nah, you know, because you know, you know, nah. if if you give me money, okay, you say two pairs of shoes. Okay, let's, and let's money. Let's work. Okay, let's work right now with the fact that you know what? I don't know what to get you. I'm giving you a stack cash in a box wrapped up real nice. That's okay. I might end up loving you more for the money. Now, Lodza said that's too much, right? Because you're saying that I want to. But anyway, my point is that you know what? As as Ooh. as women, right? Desperate. Tell your friend, just tell your female friend that, yeah, yeah, you know, I gifted loads a thousand. She'll be like, idiot. You know he's going to use that money for another bitch, right? Which is probably true. <laughs> you know that's what he's going to do, yeah. right? <laughs> if cool. I tell Nash today, <laughs> he'd be like, so stupid. Hmm? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Renji. Renji's whipped. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so what's a good Christmas gift to get your man? What would you want? Look, the easiest thing... Anybody, I'm, I'm trying to buy my man a gift. What do you want? The easiest thing is, 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 is perfume for normal people. Uh, for people that's with money... Valentine's, that's... For man, people, know, people Christmas, with money... Christmas, um, end of year. Yeah. After COVID, that's a, we've survived Omicron. So, so what you say, Play? A watch. I got a watch. Okay. But it, but All right, it, that's nice. It has to be the correct brand, though. Oh, goodness. Keep up, much. Can I want to go to watch? Walk for the watch, JJ, my shoe. But what's a uh, what's correct brand though? Look, anything up, I guess. I guess it. You see, now we exceed the hundred. I, I guess. I didn't expand hundred. Seiko is the minimum. 
It can be Seiko. citizen. It can be citizen. Why if you got me the Seiko? Yeah. Okay, so Seiko is the yeah. standard. No, it's like yeah. The, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're not going any lower. Laura, Casio, 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 my wife. That's for your baby. Gonna want a baby. One. <laughs> but look, <laughs> but, but look, yo. But it's it's subjective, right? Laura's could be cool to other people depending on how much money you make, right? Like you, you're talking from a baller point of view because you're an uptown chick. You come from a good family. So if I'm your boyfriend, I'm, I've got expectations. Understand what no I'm Casio from you, Ranji. No, no Casio from you. No Laura. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You Goodness understand? me. Okay, so as an uptown chick, what would you buy me for Christmas? Yeah. A massage that's from Tamil Spa. That's a good question. Yeah. Nah, I'm there <laughs> day. Massage, I'm there every day. Nah. <laughs> Timeless. Timeless. Or, or, or trios or whatever they call it. The competition. No, I no, I don't want that. I'm there every day and I get that for free. Yeah. So uh Ranji is the director of Timeless Health. What, what do you call it? Timeless, timeless, timeless beauty spa. Please come timeless for massages. We'll get you correct. Yes. <laughs> we do wax and facials. Is, is she praying for this? <laughs> for the, for the, for the shout outs. For the, sh- like shout, for the out. shout outs. Yeah, yeah. We do facials, massages, waxing, <laughs> ladies, and all the things. The massages are crazy. You need you, to I mean, you can them. gift your man a massage at Timeless. That will work too. That's it. Arundel Village? Yes, absolutely. That's where we at. Up yes. town, baby. We Uptown. get down, baby. No, but Dizzy, you didn't tell me. What would you buy me as a gift? Uptown. Look. You're uptown. It depends. It depends how much. Okay, what are you? What are you? Huh? What are you? I'm ghetto. No, but I can't be uptown. But so am I ghetto? You're uptown. I'm ghetto. This is so. Are those the opposites? Yes. I don't know. Calling yourself ghetto is kind of much. Are you downtown? Look, I, I'm maybe pro- downtown is a better word, right? No, because I'm trying ghetto to understand. Like, uh, like I'm trying to because if you're saying you're ghetto, wagging. am I ghetto or am I non-ghetto? Uh, uh, okay. All right. Okay, so I, I came from the ghetto. Yeah. Okay. Which which ghetto? Uh, Chitown. You're from Chitungwiza. Exactly. Chitungwiza is big. They can't be saying Chitown. Or right? Saint Mary's. <laughs> you see, you see, yes. you see how lots Saint, are chimed in. Saint Saint Mary's. No. Saint Mary's Township. Yes. All right. So you're from Saint Mary's. Yes. Which is in Chitungwiza. Yes. Sir. All right. Yes. So you would is that considered downtown? No, that's not like ghetto. Like like ghetto ghetto. Like twenty five people per house. Average. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Twenty five is the lowest. Huh? In, the house. in a house, three bedroom house. Ghetto fabulous. So now, <laughs> people like me and other cats who came out of the ghetto and went uptown. All right. You understand? Mm-hmm. We like things. So every time you're doing your thing, you know, we're studying you. We do your thing, and then so, so now, now you're studying uptown. So now, now I'm not, is that what you're saying? Because I'm, I'm trying to understand. No, no, no. I'm saying like I've hung out with so many people who are uptown. I went to an uptown school. Okay. What's I'm uptown, always, Denford? You. No, okay. Okay. Thank you. I think. <laughs> I think. Just you. People okay. Like you. Which are what? What is people like me? What am I? You're uptown guy. You come from a good family, you know. Oh. But you also come from a good family. Just because you came from no, St. No. Mary's doesn't mean you don't come from a good family. True. But what I'm saying is like, you had it better than most. Okay. You understand? Okay. Went to a good. You went to school. a preschool. Desert just went to, went to preschool. school, grade yeah. one. You school. You, you went to. A, I went yeah. to a preschool. You just went to preschool. school. You yeah, no, school. Mm. All right. <laughs> you had conflicts every morning. Rice Krispies growing up. You had porridge. Yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> no dory. No dory. Porridge. Minus dory. And what? All so, right. so the backgrounds are different. But All right. When we come to the city. We're very observant because, like, when we're in the ghetto, we're aspiring to go uptown. Ooh. And when we go uptown, yes, you understand? We go all the way because we know what we know what we've been aspiring for. You want to go back? So, can I comment on what you've just said? Okay. <laughs> I love me a downtown nigga, right? Right, right, right? I love me a downtown nigga, mm-hmm. and God, you know, God is good. Mm-hmm. God has been fortunate enough to give me the downtown nigga, the niggas from the ghetto. Why do I want them? Because you know what? The drive. The drive that a person from the ghetto has. Hello. We're hungry. Hello. We're hungry. The drive coming from the ghetto is real. Right? They come. They come real. They come strong. I mean, listen, no disrespect against the uptown niggas, Mm -hmm. but people that came from nothing or from the bare minimum. Yes, man. Woo! Large. Straight, straight, straight. No, I respect, please. Z. I, I respect them. And that, you know what? I've been lucky enough to always date those kind of men. 
Get I off. like I get off fabulous. Ah, yes, I love it. Ma'am. You know what? And the drive is there, the ambition is there. People fall and they get up all the time. But you know what? Like it was weird because I was telling Nash the other day that I'm an insomniac, right? And he says to me, When you insomnia, mm. you have insomnia, yet you live in highlands. Uptown. People in Chitungwiza, they are sleeping jiri free. Yeah. Yet you don't understand. So it, it made me realize that you know what? The way we process things and the way we deal with things are so different. Not that I'm minimizing my depression, mm-hmm. but when you look at it in perspective, you're like, yeah, nah. If you, if you can make it from where we come from, you Absolutely. can make it anywhere. And you've done well. Yeah. You've done well. Real well. Well Thanks done. Well Thanks done. Yeah. On that inspirational note, I think we've come to the end. We out of here. Very beautiful podcast. We out of here. Next week, I think we're going to have a celebrity guest. All right. It was very important that uh, people know that we're not just about guests. We have stuff on our minds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Of course. Be sure to like, subscribe, uh, turn on the notifications so you don't miss out when we load content. This is the channel right here. The Denny J Show. Yes. Thanks, man. guys, for tuning in. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, until next week. Thank you, Dad. Yes. Deep, 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 deep,